What's going on, family? This is your girl, Queen Zai. Coming at you today. All right. I'm smoking a little joint. I ain't got no more rellos, so I had to roll a paper joint. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, um, share my videos, comment below. So I know, you know, that my messages are getting out. You know, um, again, we are embracing the paradigm shift. Okay, we're not staying in that low vibrational energy of religion, of, you know, mixing up a bunch of spell work and stuff like that, you know, hexing people, you know, trying to attract a lover, all that shit. No, we're not doing that in 2022. 2022 is going to be about, you know, lining up with your divine self. Yeah, it's going to be some divine partnerships of masculine, feminine energy that's going to, you know, come together as well. But it's really talking about you coming together with your higher self you coming into balance with your masculine and feminine energy within no matter what your sex is so again we are slaying our dragons okay we are you know on our mission so a lot of people are not going to understand what you do how you do what you do the moves you make be okay with that be okay with, you know, people betraying you. You know, be okay with being alone. Be okay with it because that's the only way you're going to ascend. Now, hopefully, when you get to a certain level, you'll draw, you know, a, a, a opposite energy that you can come into a physical partnership with. But if any partnerships that you come in when you are in a low vibrational energy, you have to understand that if that person is not moving at the same pace that you are, you're going to ascend to the next level with the weight attached to you. That's going to keep you from moving to the next, next level. So remember that. Cut the energetic cords to people, places, and things that no longer serve you and be okay with that. Um, it's not something that I don't know myself. You know, I'm, you know, um, sharing with you guys my spiritual journey because who else is, who else is out there that you know really on their spiritual path in your physical life? You know, we're getting ready to, you know, turn into digital beings. And so it doesn't change because we're spiritual. So we have to pour our spirit into these digital devices to raise the vibration of the digital world. Because people, a lot of people are taking the digital world as a game. And it's really not a game, but it is a game. So people are doing stuff that should be for entertainment in real life. Now, the things that we watched growing up that was, you know, um, figments of our imagination or imaginary, now they're becoming all too real. And now, as a spiritual person, Every movie you watch, every song you hear, you're hearing messages from the divine about what you're going through. It's, it's an awakening for you to step in your power. And a lot of people that don't have grit, this is why I don't like smoking paper joints. Like, why the fuck they always going now? Like, I'm a chief. Or like, I want this shit to... <laughs> So, you know, um, that's what life is about. It's about, you know, getting to your mission, accomplishing your missions, and not getting distracted. But your mission doesn't really begin, or your journey doesn't begin until you identify the dragons in your life. 
Because in order for you to get on your mission, you got to go through the dragons that's blocking you from your mission. Or whatever beasts that are blocking you from your mission. And that's all I'm trying to do. See, the world may not understand what I'm doing, but the chosen ones do. How can you be a chosen one if you didn't defeat any dragons in your life? You obtained all of that knowledge, but instead of fighting, you run. We got to remember that in the Bible, I think it's Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51. Verse 20, I think. It says, ye are my battle axe. Ye are my weapon of destruction. With ye will I break to pieces the nations. So how can you be a chosen one if you're not willing to fight your own dragons? I fought my dragons. I'm fighting my dragons as we speak. They don't understand it because they're low vibrational. They never ascended. So of course they're not gonna assign, uh, understand an ascended being and an ascended person's mission. So if we was playing Grand Theft Auto, cause you know, art imitates life. And I learned so much from watching my son play Grand Theft Auto about how life works. Speaking of which, my angel is calling, but I'm not going to be able to answer it right at this second. He understands, though. But we got to be prepared to slay our own dragons. If you ain't willing to slay your own dragons, then how can you be worthy of all of those money blessings that you want? How can you be worthy of all the peace that you want when your demons are following you around? You don't just cut the cord. They still gonna follow you. Just like a greyhound. So you defeat them. That's how you end a cycle. You defeat the cycle. You don't just say, hey, I'm out that cycle. Hey, I'm in this cycle now. No, the fuck? We have never really put the pieces together. But I'm putting the pieces together. And I'm feeding y'all. I'm giving you life. Because I am love and life. That's a part of self-love, is to dis completely disconnect, but also to defeat in a lovingly manner something or someone or something um, that keeps following you around, hindering you, holding you back, being a weight. See, it's nothing for me to take some bags and put them in my closet. But when I get ready to move, those things are still there. Now, I can leave them there. And in the physical, the next person will get rid of them. But we're talking about the house that you're housed in. Nobody's move. You can't move out of that. We're talking about this body, it's a house. You can't put all those bags in your closet and think that it's not weighing your house down. And you, fortunately, God made it, well, we can't sell this flesh we in. We can't, we can't just go and trade up like that. And if it is a way that we can trade up, it definitely ain't for sale. Or it's so expensive it can't be bought because everybody would have done it by now.
We got a lot of people out here playing God with no knowledge. But an angel in disguise is that. It's not going to look like a preacher with a tool. That's why I don't have to use my tarot cards all the time. A preacher always got to have his Bible. Always. Why is that? Can't you connect the spirit without any tools? Life is about earning your wings. And when you have been held down by people because they seen that you had the light to earn your wings, and then these people try to capture you to steal your wings in the spiritual world. So you have to defeat them to get your wings back. For your wings to be able to work. God ain't gonna let them take your wings and then the wings still work like they supposed to work for you. No. Your wings only work for you perfectly. <clears throat> That's why when they doing all these transplants and stuff, it's so much, so many times that it doesn't work. There's times when it does work, but it's a lot of times when it don't work. When your body rejects the organ. My wings are rejecting the thief that stole it. So they are activating me to come and get them. Walking away is leaving my wings. Fuck that. I'm not leaving shit. I'm going to get my shit. <laughs> but they ain't spiritual. So they don't got no fucking idea. None. And I'm no different from nobody else. We all are on our Christ journey. I said that. So, if I got wings, your ass got wings. Are you going to vibrate high enough to realize that, yes, you do have wings and grow those shits? And then if you, after you grow them and somebody steals them, you go get your motherfucking shit. This simple. If right now somebody stole your motherfucking car and had you walking and had your life dragging and you seen your car and them driving down the street and your shit, you telling me you ain't going to try to go get your shit? You ain't gonna confront them about your shit. You just gonna keep walking like dollar who up them? Nah. So why you ain't like that in the spiritual world about your wings? And that's why when I started to question those things, that's why I started to because I'm going to get my wings. I'm not about to let nobody take nothing that's mine be riding around the block of my shit. No, because back in the day, I'll pull up on you so in the spiritual world. I'm pulling up on you. You feel me? And I got the most high on my side because I stand in truth. I stand in light. And light removes darkness. Light removes darkness. People, oh, y'all heard that? That was the thunder. That wasn't the thunder. That was somebody falling. But it sounded like thunder, didn't it? Because the most I want y'all to know how to win your race. The church has not taught us. The world has not taught us. But all of their creations have been giving us clues. Start putting the clues together in your life. Find out who you are. Fuck some goddamn spell work. You better than that. If you live by spell work, then everybody you deal with live by spell work. Because we attract like things. That's why I keep telling y'all, ascend past the spell work. Because them low vibrational people, they're still dependent on the spell work. They're being in tune to spell work. We aren't being in tune to it. So, one other <clears throat> thing I want to say about how I found out about, you know, a, a piece of the puzzle that made so much sense. So, if I'm spiritual, that means that my mom is spiritual. 
If I can see, then my mom can see, then my dad can see, that my sisters could see spiritual things, seeing the spiritual world. And when it's unchecked, and when it's coming from a hidden place, it could be toxic. It can be dark. So then I started to look. <clears throat> One second. Let me grab my drink. Mm -mm. All right, sorry. So then I started to examine my sisters. And real talk, growing up in the house of church, my family never talked about black magic because they were using black magic secretly. And whatever you do in the dark will come to light. So, they never mentioned to me about black magic. Just the way the most high work, he led me to that road to know black magic. And then so the more I became knowing about black magic, the least, the less I saw of my relatives, of my family, except for the one person, my, my sister, which I would have considered her best friend, but she was their rat, she was their spy. She was going back and telling them what I had going on the whole entire time. And that's why her life ain't never dragged like my life. You think, I, you think it's coincidental that her lows have never been my lows, but we've walked through the same exact thing because she was doing magic on me. And so the karma was for me to see that we're going through the same exact reason. Why do you think that is? Because she has a string attached to me of control. And so when you do stuff, it come back on you. And so when it came back on her, it exited through me. So when she went through things, I went through things. Or shortly after. So to my the ultimate betrayal for me was knowing that my sister was a mole, a rat this whole time, a spy. And she has been telling them my progress along this journey because she is controlled by them. She was controlling me to pump her with the information and she was using it to her benefit financially and spiritually and physically. And that's why every time my sister came around, she destroyed things in my life. I would let her stay with me. By the end of it, I'm getting put out. She gone. I come, I get blessed with something. She get jealous. Never really celebrated me. I had one birthday, um, my whole adult life that I actually celebrated my birthday. I believe it was my 39th birthday. And I had this party. Well, it wasn't a party, it was more like a dinner. And so it was at a fancy restaurant, you know. But I'm, I'm, I'm dressed, you know. I told my kids, you know, don't come in there with saggy pants and stuff, you know. My mom and my sister show up dressed like twins. They got on jeans, flip-flops, and T-shirts, like they about to fight somebody. Now, these are bougie people. Now, these are uppity people. These are people that, you know, like to be fancy tea, uh, pastries and sushi eating motherfuckers, Starbucks drinking motherfuckers, nails done, hair done, eyelashes, you know, they men's taking care of them, you know, all this whoop de whoop bullshit. And that's how they show up to my 39th birthday celebration. I wasn't even really studying it. I invited my mom. And I'm glad that the few people that I did invite didn't show up because I would have had no one. So them failing me was actually their mission 
because it fulfilled the purpose. But moving on, so my college graduation, when I bought my house, when I got married, all the all the things that accomplishments in life, it was never celebrated. You know, I have a whole spiritual business that I'm making a living off of, being honest and spreading love and light. And um, they want, they won't, you know, they say that I'm crazy. So why are people paying me money? Because I don't see nobody else this Looney Tunes getting paid to tell people what's going on in their life. Nobody wants to hear it. So they let me know she was an agent for them. Spy. She was only around me for what she can get out of me through pumping them with information. And that's what they call gang stalking. Because how many people, when she told that one, how many people did they tell to know what's going on with me? Gang stalking me. Why would people gang stalk me if I didn't have something? And since I have nothing in the physical world, because I have separated myself from so much, there must be something about me spiritually something about you spiritually because these people did what's going on with me are going on with all chosen ones right fucking now you're seeing that the people around you are judases they have betrayed you and for the right amount of money they will betray you again your eyes are not deceiving you your intuition ain't lying to you if you feel like everybody's picking on you, then you are a chosen one. You are above all of this hoodoo, voodoo, fucking black magic, religion, all of these governmental systems. Your mind is past that shit. And you only want the truth and the blessings that come from standing in the truth. And then you know all blessings are attached to the, the end of an assignment. You, you get a grade for completing the test or you get a zero, an incomplete. Why don't people behave in life as though this is a reality is the question because there is a strong delusion on a mass of people and if you are still in tune to my channel at this point you are probably one of the chosen ones and so you really need to take heed to the shit that I'm saying and the moves that I am making I'm dropping clues and keys not only for me in my future life but for you don't follow me just take the keys and apply them to the doors in your life and if that journey just so happened to be the same as mine hey what up I could use the company <laughs> and slaying these motherfucking dragons why else would I be born in a war? Because it's spiritual warfare, my friends. So either you at the table or your ass on the menu. Because you will be defeated in a spiritual sense. I'm not, you know, I'm a loving person. I am not. Look at this. I'm on it. That's the second phone call 
from two men that I feel are light bearers. Now, one of them, I'm trying to figure out, is he on the side of light or is he on the side of darkness? But I know he is enlightened. He, it's just no way too much. But anyway. So... We have to stick together. We have to be able to get at such a high vantage point that nothing that people try to do or say will affect you. And if that means walking away from people, places, and things that you have to, you got to be willing to fucking do that shit, bro. All your needs are going to be taken care of. You're going to be able to do whatever it is you want to do. You want to go on a vacation, you're going to be able to go on a vacation. You want to buy a house, you're going to be able to buy a house. I don't know why you would want to buy a house, but hey. Besides the ownership of the land. But hey, that's, you know, some people want to conquer territories, you know. And if if you are supposed to conquer a territory, then you'll have you some land. I mean, the different strokes for different folks. Some people are traveling angels, you know. I feel as though I am a traveling angel. I travel from here to there. Because that's been my life. Or, if it's not, then I am supposed to be a, a territorial angel or an emperor, um, someone with land, and then that will come to me. But it's not going to come to me as long as I have not slayed my fucking dragons. <laughs> Why am I going to get the prize without the fight? <laughs> you feel me? gotta understand this is spiritual we were spirits then we got puffed up we came here now we gotta do away with the things here earn our wings back so we can take off and go back home wherever your home is. Maybe in just my this thing, it's only 144. But maybe in your this thing, it's 144. And maybe in somebody else's reality, it's 144. But in everybody's reality, they are 144. Are you a part of the 144 in your reality? Because I am in my reality. And that mean I ain't gonna do shit that everybody else doing. I ain't about to be out there with everybody else. You feel what I'm saying? And eventually, you gotta understand that if you are a part of the 144, and there's millions of people in this earth seeing your light, you gonna be the target. You ain't gonna wanna be a sitting duck. You wanna join forces. Well, I thought I'd like being with them 144 so you can destroy your nation. So you got to find some kind of way to connect with them. So here I am. Where are my chosen ones at? My chosen ones have already subscribed to my channel. My chosen ones have been viewing my videos and is staying tuned in, staying watching. If you, every now and then, you know, uh, you know, you just so happen to stroll by my page this one time, you're a chosen one. Subscribe. Elevate. It's time for us to rise up. Quam. That means rise in Hebrew. time for us to rise up. That's what it means to vibrate higher. 
high vibrations rise up. What is the problem? People think low vibrations and rise up mean to stand up. No, it means to not only stand on your truth, but to get to the next level. Nobody's going to believe you just standing. You got to get on the next level. And then stand and say, hey, you dummies, I'm up here. So are you going to listen to me now? And they're going to probably still deny you because that's what they like to do. No, you fool. So they'll try to, you know, do things to make your presence look less than what it is. Throwing stones and the weak ones. Take them hits and it affects them. Because the Bible says only the strong survive. So the strong ones take them hits. They take them rocks. And they bop, bop. They throw them back. And they don't miss. Because truth finds its target. Mm. Let's be real with the spiritual thing. If you've been thinking life is only about the flesh, you're working, you're buying stuff, you're vacationing, you're Christmas, you're Facebook, you da, 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 da. you still caught up. The rapture has happened in the spiritual sense because the high, the low vibrationals that were vibrating higher, now they've been taken up to the higher level. And we're looking down at you like, Hey, you guys, are those people. We're looking down at those people like, hey, you guys, um, based on my experience, you might want to follow me because at least I was smart enough to get out the snare, get out the basement. I had to fight my way through it. So the ones that, you know, fight their way through and they walk away because they don't have, they don't want to fight, you know, they real demons. They get to a high level, turn and walk the other way and fall off a cliff. And now they're under their demons. Just like a maze. You go certain ways, it's a block, it's a line, it's a drop. It's a trap. It's a no way out. But nobody really looked at it. I ain't even trying to break down none of the governmental systems and none of that. Because to me, that's a part of the game that's never going to change. It's not really designed to. It's a Sims character. So we spend all our life trying to tug away at the program. Fuck the program. Play the game. Master the game. Because whether you shooting or aiming for the masters or not, or the program creator or not, you're still in the game. You can't defeat them when you're still in it. <laughs> Fucking dumb as shit. Oh, but you like, um, what is this, Jonah who got swallowed up by the whale? And you waiting for God to uh, open the whale mouth and God say, I ain't told your stupid ass to get ate up by the whale. But since you're in there, you should fight your way out, God damn it. <laughs> I'm sit right here and wait on you because that's what you did for you. <laughs> and that's why people think that God is dead because he allow you to get out. You put yourself in and get yourself out. Be your own master of self. They don't want to be their master. They don't want to be their master. <laughs> they want to be your master. Boss you around. Hey, you doing what they want you to do, and they ain't even control their goddamn self. See, that's why you're a chosen one. Because you can see through all of that. You can see the game. 
If my channel has not waken you up, please unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck if I only got three subscribers left after this. If you are not trying to vibrate out and walk in your authority as an anointed one of light, I prefer for you to boot your own self off my channel before I block your ass. Because anytime you light a match and you drop that shit, it's supposed to stuff catch on fire. You don't goddamn go out and catch stuff on fire. I'm supposed to be igniting your soul. I'm supposed to be motivating you. And if you hating on that, then you ain't a chosen one. Everybody got critics. Everybody's a critic. But in your life, what are you doing as far as your mission? Because everybody going to have something to say all the time. They going to love and hate you. I'm loving you to life. I'm activating your soul. Doom. If you didn't know, you are not a Sims character. If you didn't know, you are not God. But you are a God. And it is your job to tap into your fucking power. Period. And to send yourself to a God status. What the fuck is the point of knowing you a God and you ain't doing shit? You ain't saving nobody. You ain't leading nobody nowhere. You just... Oh, I'm a God puffed up. That's what you are. Let's not be puffed up. Let's be humble in our shit. See, I could be puffed up and, you know, sell my story. I'm not here to sell nothing. I'm here to give it away. Because the person that sent me blesses me with what I need when I need it. I've been tuned out of the news. I really stopped watching TV. Twenty sixteen. For sure twenty sixteen. And then meaning I had my shows to watch, you know, watching the news, all that shit, seeing what's going on in the world, all that. I stopped doing that about 2016, but at the time, I had the four kids, my two plus my two nieces in the house, so it was shows and stuff that they watched that, you know, I would have to tune into or I would hear or see smidges of it because I was in their existence, and you know, kids, they, they like TV loud as motherfucker, everything is loud, you know, and everything is drama. So... I don't know what's going on in the world. Except the spirit tell me. Sometimes he use people to tell me. Because that's what spirit does. It can use anything that's alive. <laughs> you know. And so, you know... What, what I know about my mission, I have to see it all the way out. And while I'm seeing it out, I'm learning things. I'm having revelations. And in revelations, it's talking about, you know, slaying the seven-headed dragon in your life and being equipped to do so. 
So, what I'm trying to do right now is to conquer my dragon and slay it. But it has seven heads, so it appears that I'm going to have to slay every head individually until the whole beast is taken down. So I've been training for this my whole life. Spiritually and physically. So you think I'm going to know my purpose and be like, yeah, pfft. Yeah, let's walk away. Nah. Come a little closer. Because it's on. That's what I feel. It's on. Now. Oh, I know where my dragon is. So now, I'm sharpening up my tools. I'm preparing. I'm preparing. See, when people trying to do a beauty spells on me, and it's trying to, you know, that just proves to me that they trying to work on me. That's just a sign I need to, you know, return to sender. Any curses, hexes, jinxes, or black magic. Some may be, somebody may be trying to put on me to take away from my looks. It's important that we read the signs in our life and, and, and understand energy and how it moves. That's what it's, that's what a lot of this is about. It's not the only thing because that energy and knowing how to move energy and use energy will be able to save this planet that's why we are here on this planet to save it because it's things we caught up in the physical world so we don't know it's things headed this way when you're a chosen one it's about tapping into to get to being a chosen one you have to tap into your power but once you become a chosen one it's about tapping into your superpower that means using all your gifts together. Whew. To my deep. <laughs> Give my video a thumbs up. Share this message, y'all. Look. If you, I put it like this. If you feel led to want to donate to my channel, it's somewhere on this channel under some video information on how to get in touch with me how to send money to me find those videos i'm not gonna you know put it on here because i don't want ever the message to be that i want money money is a tool we all need it for certain things but i don't want shit from nobody you feel what i'm saying i'm loving y'all to life because that is my purpose to wake the sleeping people. That's what it means to be revolutionary. I am revolutionary and I am in my revelation. What I can't handle my spirit, guys, my ancestors, my angels, they got. In the physical stuff, I got my 144. So even though it appears that I am alone, I'm not. But you gotta go through the dark nights of the soul, which is your solo journey. It's you figuring out who you are. What is your purpose? Do you have your wings? Are, are there wings? Are there, is your wings, what color are your wings? 
things, you know, because they, you need to know all of that. Who's gonna tell you that? Your preacher? Your mama? Your daddy? Your aunt, your uncle? Who? Spirit. So you gotta be in tune for spirit. <laughs> and what's so funny is that, you know, I'm only 41. I look 28, and I got a mind of probably a 110-year-old. It's people in this existence that have not figured the shit that I've been saying to y'all out. Some of y'all haven't figured that shit out, and I'm making it connect for you now. Like, wow, how did I do this shit? Damn. That's when you're in spirit. When you're dropping keys. Not only for me, I'm dropping them for y'all, too. Because I'm earning to the next level. See, when this, when I, I am flying up out of here. I'm not being put in a hole. Those people being put in a hole because they think that, you know, they're resting, sleep. They may sleep with their eyes wide open. <laughs> so what's the difference in, you know, a grade for those, those Sims characters. They can be a recycle, so. They can keep going through the same levels. Me, myself, I'm going to the next level with different demons, with different, you know, um, uh, things to battle until God says, or the creator says, to you I'm very proud of my good and faithful steward. You can take rest now. <laughs> See, a lot of people ain't on the truth. They want to keep blinding you. It's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. It's none of that. It's this, what I'm saying. It's mastering. They gained it no matter who you are and where you were born in life. You will have to fight. You will have to play. Are you playing the game of life or is it playing you? Because <laughs> guess what? It's millions of people it has played. It is, it is a beast. But guess what? You keep mastering. You keep trying. Conquer the, the, the dragons in your life on every level. If that's what this is about, then that's what we're going to keep doing. But if it's just about what we do in this carnation, it leads to the next carnation. You have to still defeat your dragons. So your next level can be a different. Maybe you can change characters. Maybe you get a character upgrade. Maybe you start off better. I don't know. But whatever it is for you, defeat your, defeat your dragons. Fuck all the dumb shit. Defeat your dragons. Stop being a flightless bird. You are an eagle. A flightless bird is a damn chicken. And if you earthly and worldly, you might be a flamingo. But you're still a flightless bird. I'm a motherfucking eagle. And I'm hawking on these motherfuckers. Oh, God! <laughs> Sound the alarm, goddamn now. I know. I'm so balanced right now. You understand my masculine, 
my feminine has come together and I'm on the upside, I have the advantage because I have the vantage point. And no weapons that are formed against me shall prosper. So, encourage yourself with my testimony. Encourage yourself with my journey. You are no different from me. You can defeat your dragons, but you must face them. Take courage, my friend. Take courage because you are not alone. You have the strength of a thousand, ten thousand ancestors behind you, as well as your angels, as well as your God. So why are you afraid of a itty bitty old little dragon? Nah, hell nah. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> Shit, we all got our own dragons on top of that. So if you got to fight a dragon and we are all one and the same or um, we have multiple members with one body, then you got to beat your dragon up. Because I'm pretty sure your dragon, the combination of all your gifts, talents, knowledge, um, skill set, um, 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 angels, ancestors, that makes your, that makes your dragon in the spiritual world. Activate that motherfucker. Just like the mighty morphing power rangers. You see, all of them had their power and then they came together. And then the motherfuckers was like all in one thing that was twice as big as what they was when they was apart. That's exactly how your dragon is assembled. Why do you think we, God birthed us in this day and age with all of these, you know, sci-fi movies and da, da, da. It's because these are things that's really going on in the spiritual world. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but of powers and principalities. So that can be mystical creatures can be in a principality in a principality of their own there are multiple members but one body yep and don't forget about your hands your 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 archangels the mighty uh the song Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those are your archangels. People just put them in a great little story that I, I personally fucking love the Ninja Turtles. Like, <laughs> for real. If you like anime, that's my anime. I love the Ninja Turtles. And I understand. Our imitates life. It's been in front of us our whole life. We've been getting clues as to who we were. Whatever movies you watched growing up. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that was giving you some clues. Some of the people that you grew up with, they gave you clues. Based on either the way they, the way they treated you, how they treated you, things they gave you, what they said to you how they responded to you. Like, all of these were clues. It's to more about you. You just gotta question people's true motives. Are they aligned with yours? What are your true motives? Are you a light bearer? Are you a light worker or a dark worker? Cause it's only 144,000 light workers in my reality. So I need to know. <clears throat> and I need to link up with them. I'm trying to link up with them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Well, spirit is tired. Spirit is tired. It's a sign. Because everything is a sign. Maybe your spirit is, you know, some of y'all may be tired of listening to me by now. I know my battery tired. It just said 20%. But I'm going to get off here in just a second. But I do want to say this. Some of y'all are tired. In the physical, because in the spiritual world, you just been walking away from your demons and your dragons, and they just been latched on. You just been dra dragging around dead bodies, basically, or baggage. Free yourself and fight your demons. Face your demons. That's the only way you're going to make it where you're trying to go. Get light. For real, for real, in all senses of it. Lighten your load. It's time for y'all to lighten your loads if you haven't already. If you're not being compelled to do so, the, the earth is pushing us to lighten our load, to seek more truth, to, you know, shine more light inspire more people motivate more people he's doing the 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 universe god is doing that to the chosen ones for a reason it is our time to rise we have been dormant we have been studying we have been showing ourselves approved and so now it's time for us to make our exodus And be like Moses and say to the Pharaoh, let my people go. Let my people go. Or else you will suffer the wrath of God with those plagues. <laughs> so, do you. You know, you can stay. Oh, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, If it's a problem, then maybe you are the fucking problem. <laughs> maybe you are the demon. That's why what I'm saying is so irrational. If this is irrational, <laughs> if this is insulting, if this is harsh for you to hear, then you are the problem. Get the fuck off my channel. Click. What's not clicking for you? Get the off period but to the chosen ones no it's time for you to if you have not been noticing you're growing your wings and if you already knew you had wings then you should know somebody has taken them it's time for you to take them back so that you can stand because the time is coming for us to rise if it hasn't already come for you. The paradigm shift has already taken place. Did you see it? Did you feel it? You, you felt it more than you saw it. But if you look at yourself, your body, your physical body, it has changed. And it's gonna change again. So remember what I said, I'm about to get off here now, share my videos, like my videos, comment below, okay, and don't forget, complete your missions, fuck the bullshit, complete your goddamn mission.